In a world where amazeballs is a beer. I know a guy who can do that a lot better. Really? Yeah. Maybe we should cut to him. Yeah, I think we should. In a world where beer brings joy. In a world where beer brings joy. In a world where beer brings joy. I, think we are. I love my job. <laughs> Welcome back to the Happy Hour, guys. My name is Jimmy Ludwig. My name is Mark Aldrich. And we are on the banks of the Hudson River. In Peekskill, New York. And not a few meters away from here. That's true. Is true. the Peekskill Brewery. Brewery. An amazing destination, but only recently with the arrival of one very specific person. That's right. Chief. Chief. Jeff. Jeff O'Neill. Who is uh, one of the most talented brewers we've come across in our travels. And we've come across a lot of them. And he is doing some incredible things here at Peekskill. The things that they're doing over there just shouldn't be possible. And not just with beer, but also with the food that they're yeah. offering as well. Yeah. They're sourcing locally. They're doing some amazing things with this menu. It's sort of all thought out, and it's all going in a specific direction to serve the beer and the food together. That's right. And uh, like I said, we're less than an hour from downtown Manhattan. But it's still a little bit of a journey to get here. But they've become a destination. I know many people including our own Squigs. Uh -huh. Squigs on the camera, by the way. <laughs> Who make a point of coming up here to experience what's going on at Peekskill Brewery. All right, so we are here with the man responsible for most of the magic that's going on here. This is Chief O'Neill. He is the brewer. And what, what exactly is Beyond Brewer? What is your title here? I'm Brewmaster. So, Brewmaster. Yeah, I mean, so I oversee everything that we do beer-wise. Thank, thank you for having us, by the oh, way. Thanks so for coming. Really, really, really yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Thanks. When did you come to, because Peekskill Brewery existed prior to you being here. Yeah, in fact, just yesterday was the fifth anniversary of the day that they opened. Oh, wow. Just yesterday. Uh, okay. They opened wow. Labor Day weekend of 2008 in a much smaller space about a yep. block south of here. Down that way. And uh, I came on just about two years ago at the beginning of November of 2011. And then we spent 2012 uh, building this, this new project out and we opened uh, the very end of 2012 and then really hit our stride here in 2013. And how's it going? It's going great. It's going great. We can't keep up. Let's, let's cut this short. <laughs> <laughs> He's got beer to make. He's got beer to make. <laughs> I'm thirsty. I, I, I think. Well, okay. I, I don't think anybody here is going to argue with. No. So walk us through. Where are we now? So here we are in the brew house. Um, this is our 15 barrel custom made uh, brew house. It's made for us in Portland, Oregon, by our friends at Metalcraft Fabrication. They're a real sort of outside the box thinking um, American fabricator. They're one of the only ones. Actually, they're the only ones I can find who are willing to uh, sort of build a brewery to my spec. State of the industry right now is that equipment is very hard to come by yeah. and. Uh, sort of pre-made systems are selling out before they're even made. So Ben's raking out today's brew. We're making IPA, our Eastern Standard, our flagship beer. It's about a third of what we brew. As you can see, he's raking that beautiful Vienna malt out of the out of the mash louder ton and into a garbage can. So literally, you're you're running out of beer. You can't. Yeah. Sell. Oh yeah, yeah. We're we're um, we're very large brew pub. Um, about two thirds of the beer we make goes to the local market, the Hudson Valley and, and New York City, and uh, we're consistently um, running uh, low inventory, in <laughs> which is great. Which is great. It keeps the beer really fresh in the marketplace, yeah. and that's really as a local brewer what we can do that's different from other world class breweries. Yeah, it's what you can offer that other places can. And tell us about some of the beers that you can only find here. So here, of course, we're a brew pub, and we uh, make a point of doing things that are boundary pushing. You'll see as we go through the building that the process is fairly unique here, and we're able to, I think, make beers that really are focused uh, based on sort of how our process is set up. We have a number of house beers that you won't see in the local market on right now. Everything from a Saison um, that we collaborated with uh, Stillwater and Crossroads on. Oh, wow. Uh, fermented in our cool ship up on the third floor. Cool um, ship. That's right. Chief just said cool ship. So what is a cool ship, you ask? Well, truth of the matter is, the cool ship is such an interesting concept, we have devoted an entire other episode to it. The episode is called Sailing the Cool Ship, and you will be astonished at the history. Meanwhile, let's get back to peak skill. And let's taste some beer. New beer. A debut beer for Peak Skill Brewery. And it's on cask. 
on, on the very slight chance that any of our viewers don't know about Cask or Perkins, can you explain to them the difference? So this is a traditional way of serving draft uh, beer. It predates um, modern dispense technology. While we have our cask in our, in our cold box, uh, we are drawing out of it with this um, piston that I'm driving here with the sand pump. This is a black ale. It's the base beer for our uh, black coffee uh, IPA that we call Midnight Toker. Which I've had is fantastic. Last time we brewed it, it struck me uh, as we were tasting it in the cellar, that it was such a good tasting beer just on its own without the coffee addition. So this time we're going to split the batch in half and do uh, huh. coffee on about five or six barrels of it and serve it straight up. So every Thursday, um, we tap one of these firkins of, of cask ale at 3 o'clock. When we open the tap room. Cheers, guys. Cheers. A Cheers. debut Cheers. beer. Yes, cheers. It's exciting. I hope you like it. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah. they just they just don't make anything other than exceptional oh. beer here. The beautiful trip by train along the Hudson, the incredible beer, but the food. That day, Squiggs had an Amazeballs IPA, which won a silver medal at the 2013 Great American Beer Festival, and he matched it with poutine and borscht. Yeah, poutine and borscht. Get yourself on a train. Great food, great beer, and all of this. It's picturesque. It is. It's idyllic. There's the word. In a world where beer brings joy. Yes! <laughs>